Hello, good morning to all grade 2 pupils. It's time to study, learn, and practice using our module in English. Are you ready? Let's begin. First, let us make sure that we have with us our module in English. Let us also prepare our pencil and our notebook which we will use to write our answers on. Let us check once more if we have the needed materials for our modular session today. Module in English, check. Pencil, check. Notebook, check. Okay, now I can see that you are all ready. This time, let's start. Our lesson for today is about writing some words, a phrase, or a sentence about an illustration or a character. Did you know that there are many ways to describe a character or an illustration? That we can do it through spoken or written form? I know that you are a smart kid. That's why I believe that you can confidently describe the traits of a character using specific and precise words based on the illustration that are shown or given to you. For what I need to know at the end of this module, you are expected to number one, write some words, a phrase, or a sentence about an illustration or a character. Number two, describe an illustration or a character. And number three, infer character traits based on the given illustration. For what's in, draw yourself and write something about you. Here are the uh, sentences that you are going to fill in that will tell something more about you. Don't forget to illustrate yourself. Here are the uh, sentences to fill in. I am blank. I am in grade 2 blank. I was born on blank. I live in blank. My parents are blank. My teacher is blank. And my school is blank. For what's new, Filipinos are known to be resilient, especially during difficult times. They do not give up easily. They are always ready to lend a helping hand. In this time of pandemic, community helpers play an important role in fighting the deadly virus by keeping the members of the community safe and healthy. Study the following illustrations. Write the role of each community helper. Choose your answer in the box. So you look at the picture and then let's choose inside the box the role that fits each community helper. So here are the choices. Provides care to sick people. Teaches children in school. Maintains peace and order. Cures sick people. Sweeps streets, grows crops. For what is it? You were able to answer the previous activity with the help of the illustrations and the roles in the community. One way to describe a character is by identifying his physical characteristics, qualities, and behavior. You can also describe a character by understanding and evaluating his action, words, and ideas. Illustration is a visual representation of a character, event, object, or an abstract idea that can help you in forming your understanding and opinion about the image. Let us study the following examples. Elena loves helping at home. She waters the plants and dusts their furniture. She helps her mother cook in the kitchen. These actions of Elena show that she is a hardworking and thoughtful daughter. Another example of a positive trait, a grade 2 pupil named Marlon Santos from Santo Domingo Elementary School in Minalin, Pampanga, found a wallet 
which he gave back to the owner. He was awarded by the barangay officials for being honest. The money amounting to 5,000 pesos was intended for the medication of Mrs. Afeli Yambao, the owner of the wallet. The signage keep of the grass reminds you not to stop on the grass in public places. Similar signages are the following. For signage number one, the description is letter P inside the circle with a diagonal line. The meaning of this signage is no parking. For number two, the description is a circle with a hand reaching a bunch of flowers. The meaning of that is no picking of flowers. For number three, the description is a dog chasing a man. That means beware of dogs. For number four, the description is a can where to place garbage. The meaning of that is put your garbage here. And for number five, the description is putting one of your fingers to your lips. That means keep quiet. It's activity time. There are plenty of activities prepared just for you so you can put into practice everything that you learned in this module. Ready your pencil and your notebook because we will begin answering. For what's more, Guided Activity 1, have you come across these symbols and signages in school at home or even along the roads? Study each of the signages closely. Write the word that best tells what the picture is all about. Write your answer on your paper. So for number one, what is this signage all about? Is it no parking, no blowing of horns, keep off the grass, no left turn? Number two, what is this picture all about? Put your garbage here, be clean, keep quiet, stay safe. Number three, what is this picture all about? Beware of dogs. No vendors allowed, pedestrian lane, stop. How about this signage in number four? Is it stop, go now, keep quiet, or get ready? And number five, what is this signage all about? Is it no picking of flowers? Attention, listen, stay away from grass. For guided activity two, study the pictures below. Tell what the characters are doing. Choose your answer from the box. Write the answer on your paper. So here are the choices. Catch a fish. Take a bath. Clean the house. Sweep the yard. Water the plants. Sell fruits or vegetables. In order for you to answer these, you have to uh, take a closer look at the picture. To know uh, the description, fitting for the picture. Number one, Mario is going to blank. Number two, they are going to blank. Number three, she is going to blank. Number four, they are going to blank. And number five, he is going to blank. For independent assessment one, write five simple sentences about the picture. Write the answer on your paper. Take a closer look at the picture. Tell something about it. And write five simple sentences about the things that you see in the picture. For independent assessment 2, complete the story by describing the illustration. Choose your answer from the box below. Here are the choices. Plow, cleans, pulls the weed, industrious water. The title of the short story is Farmer by Suzette Q. Mariano. Tonyo is a blank farmer. He likes to blank and plant. He blank an open place, then he fills it with his plants. He plants corn, eggplants, and tomatoes. He blank and puts fertilizers so the plants would grow so well. He cultivates blank 
and talks to them every day. Harvest time came, his products were three times more than what he expected. For what I have learned, write your answer on the blank. Choose your answer in the box. Here are the choices. Words and actions, hair and eye color, descriptive, accident, positive traits. Number one, in describing an illustration or a character, we use blank words. Number two, character can be described based on blank and blank. Number three, physical characteristics of a human character are blank and blank, height, size, facial feature, and even clothing. Number four, industrious, kind, honest, and thrifty are examples of blank. And number five, interpreting signage or illustration at the street is important to avoid blank. For assessment, read the short selection. Mary is courteous for she shows respect to the elders and talks to them politely by using po and opo at all times. Having a simple family, she also helps her mother in doing household chores like washing the dishes and cleaning the house. Oftentimes, she finds bills and coins in pockets and returns them to the owner. Indeed, she is an honest kid. During this pandemic, she gave her savings to her mother. She was able to save money last school year by choosing not to spend all her allowance and instead keeping them in her piggy bank. Seemingly, Mary is thrifty. She was also taught by her father to follow every traffic signage she sees on the street. Her father wants her to be a law-abiding citizen by following rules and regulations. Now, let us complete the last sentence with the correct words. Choose the answer in the box. The following choices are thrifty, courteous, honest, law-abiding, kind, and careful. Number one, Rene uses po and opo when talking to his elder. He is blank. Number two, Lisa always tells the truth whenever she breaks something in their home. She is an blank girl. Number three, Pilar spends only 10 pesos from her 20 pesos allowance. She saves it in her piggy bank. Pilar is blank. Number four, even though Mr. and Mrs. Garcia are not so rich, they still help those who are in need. They are blank. And number five, Mang Mario is a jeepney driver. He follows traffic rules. Mang Mario is a blank citizen. For letter B, answer the following questions based on the paragraph that you have read. Number one, what, why would you say Mary is a courteous person? Number two, if you were Mary, how would you help your family in this time of pandemic? And number three, what are the positive qualities of Mary? For additional activities, write a sentence that describes each picture. So look at the following pictures, tell something about it, and write a sentence for it. Thank you kids. Remember, illustration is a visual representation of a character, event, object, or an abstract idea that can help you in forming your understanding and opinion about the image. This is Teacher Carmela M. Santos, leaving you with a message. Patuloy na magbasa, patuloy na matuto, patuloy na magsanay. Hashtag Project Appear. See you around!